Hello YouTube, it's Kurianko here for this week's KOF trailer analyze again. And we got Leona this week, so let's watch it first and we'll get into it later on. Well, they showed a new guy attack. Add is some effect. That's new. Okay. So you can do follow up as well. Right? Right, so let's slow it down and watch it again. Get to gameplay, you can see that her model, especially on the hair, actually got quite a lot of detail this one. So um, maybe they're still updating all the like, other characters' hair model as well, or the hair texture I should say. Yeah, so most of the normals are based on like KOF 14. So this time I will spend more time to focusing on the changes and talk about how it potentially affect her gameplay. But before that, I kind of want to talk about this standing CD because in KLF 14, this standing CD is like so good that it covers both of the roles. Uh, so just by inputting down B standing A C D, and then it will option select. Uh, so if they hit or block. They will be just become down a, down B standing A, and then if they actually roll to avoid the down B, then the standing CD is gonna come out to cover both of the rolls. Well, but there's one thing: uh, if they change the range uh, on the hitbox, then that might not work anymore. But if they didn't, which I assume they don't, uh, then even without quick max in this game. Uh, she should still able to combo into super after that. So I would assume uh, people still have to like uh, respect Leona's offense quite uh, quite a lot when she has meter. Here comes the new guard attack, but in this video they only just show that uh, she does her moon slasher after. Not like the Robert and Rio's uh, trailer that sh they can actually get a full ground combo. We have to see if it's just because they want to like keep the free uh, video short, or uh, they just like change it within one week. Bouncing coming. You got ears ground saber. Might be still on zero frame on block, and you got moon ex moon slasher. Might be fully invisible still. And for the take launch, it seems to have a bit less hit. So in kill f fourteen because it hits so many times, so then end up it start to having like heavy damage scaling. With less hit, it actually is better on the combo afterwards. So that might actually be a buff. You got my like, ex and uh, a slasher should be full invincible if they didn't change it. And that's the uh, max super ground version ground saver, I think. So here comes the you know, change it earring back down. So as you can see on here, it doesn't actually launch the opponent, it just does a little stun before it actually detonates and then uh, launches opponent, which actually changes her game plan a little bit. So in 14 you can just like throw the earring if it somehow it hit the opponent, which it does. So uh, then you can actually combo into V slash, uh, Slasher or uh, Ground Saver, any move after. 
which might change her gameplay a little bit in far distance. So here they just show the uh, menu detonate uh, on the platform on the opponent. Uh, in 1999 it was like reverse DP, uh, which is when the reverse I uh, get introduced which launches the opponent on uh, 15 and then you can get a follow up after and right here they are showing a new staple combo standing the one hit into the new EX uh, earring and then like it does a little stagger that you can link into like stand A then you link into down C for A then after the whole combo then eventually it uh, detonate itself and then you can get another follow up after that so which the video actually didn't show the full potential uh, that was just one bar combo and on the second moon slasher you should able to still able to cancel into super or even climax or the other move so uh, that will be a new staple for Leona So he kind of show that uh, if you are not point blank to opponent when you use the EX earring, it will just uh, launches the opponent just like for uh, kill F14. Then you can do your uh, regular combo like kill F14, which in this trailer they just uh, straight into level one super into climax. Just notice that they changed the uh, effect color. Maybe it's a bit more respecting on the uh, Rifle King, if you know what that is. I'm not so sure what this is. This might be a new win pose. Just do an uh, Irish jump back and lunge into this uh, screen and do a pose into kill f15 so i guess that's about it for this week while most of the stuff are still similar to kill f14 but uh, with the changes a little bit uh, i'm actually quite interested to see how she is going to be played out in kill f14 i do look forward to play her uh, since she's uh, my quite a good sub in kill f14 I look forward to the game as she comes out so that I can actually like, go to the lab and actually test her out quite well. She might potentially become one of my main. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.